Fuck is up, YouTube. Fuck is up, YouTube. I'm bumping. Don't mind this shit. <laughs> nah, um, condolences. Ow. First off, gotta start with condolences to um, these uh, victims of the Mexico kidnapping. No, seriously. Um, been seeing it all over social media. <sighs> so we just. A lot of condolences tonight. <laughs> Word, Notice? yeah. Go look at our previous uh, yeah. videos, but we send it out condolences to their family, their friends, everything like that. Um, um, right here it says two Americans are back in the United States. Saw you after surviving a violent kidnapping ordeal in Mexico. Wow. So let's see what they. And it says how they were found, actually. The tragedy in Mexico. Two of the Americans who were kidnapped after crossing the border are back in the U.S. this morning. And you're looking live at the hospital where one of, the, one of them is being treated in Brownsville, Texas. The other two Americans were killed. Matt mm. Rivers is in Mexico oh City with the latest force. Good morning, Matt. Other two. Good morning, Michael. One person has already been detained in this case, but with so many U.S. law enforcement agencies putting pressure on their Mexican counterparts to find who is responsible here, more arrests could be coming soon. This morning, two of the four Americans kidnapped in Mexico now waking up on U.S. soil after surviving this horrific attack. Lordy. Armed men seen loading the group them. onto a pickup truck in Matamoros Friday. Their other two friends did not survive. Two U.S. citizens will return to the United States. The bodies of two other U.S. citizens killed in the same incident were also recovered. Eric James Williams and Latavia Tay McGee making it out alive. McGee seen here with law enforcement shortly after she was oh rescued. Gosh. A convoy then taking the survivors to the border to hear. near Brownsville, Texas. Uh, I can't wait to hear her story. If right. she, if she ever she decides to, to come out and say what happened because I'm, I'm very curious yeah. to know mm. what happened. Like, how did this happen? Where the yeah. hell were y'all at? Like, uh, I don't know. I also heard they were in, like, I forgot the name of Mexico. Tama, tam, tam, Tamaha, whatever. No, Tamoros, remember, something like that. Whatever it was, that's not the usual. Makamoros. The Makamoto, whatever. It was it's not the, oh yeah, Makamoto. Yeah, right. It's not the usual, you know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. you go to Mexico, you can, uh, from what I know, mm -hmm. I'm only taking my ass to Cancun <laughs> and Tulum. Tell them. Like, I mean, not saying, you know, it is what it is. Mm -hmm. It happened, but at the same time, like, you can't just go around in different people's soils and listen if you go you gotta be really careful man. ain't no being careful with the cartel or whatever happened man, yo they don't give a fuck i know they don't give a fuck that's the scary part about it is like and it's it makes it even more like you think people like the mexicans that come to the united states uh -huh. like so, it's like I don't even think some people take in a in account as to what they go through, like mm -hmm. back, why they wanted to even come this way. Mm -hmm. They getting out of all this shit that's yeah. going on. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. So. Two then crossing over to a waiting ambulance. McGee's mother describing the moment she found out her daughter had survived. I had to hold my I, I was thinking the laws. I said, thank you, Jesus. There is a God. Williams now in a Brownsville, Texas hospital after undergoing surgery for multiple gunshot wounds to his legs. His mm. wife, Michelle, able to speak with him briefly. It was just tears of joy, I guess, that he's alive. I didn't even want to imagine what, what he was going through or, you know, what any of them were going through. Two other members of the group, Shae mm. Woodard and Zendel Brown, tragically killed. Authorities finally finding the missing Americans after a three-day manhunt, leading them to this wooden house in Lagunona, outside Matamoros. A 24-year-old man identified Gosh. only by his first name, Jose, arrested. Mexican authorities say he was in charge of watching the Americans. According to her family, McGee had traveled with the others from Lake City, South Carolina to Mexico. What do you think they kidnapped them for? I have no idea. 
And they not the funny thing is they not even gonna she's not even gonna be able to tell because right. they don't speak Spanish. Right. I mean, I don't know if they speak Spanish, but she ain't even gonna know why they got kidnapped type shit. That's crazy. Because why the other two didn't get killed? Exactly. You like, know what, what I mean? What's the purpose? Exactly. <clears throat> to get cosmetic surgery. When the four crossed into Matamoros on Friday, her family it, says yo. armed gunmen in body armor chased them, opening fire on their white minivan. The gunmen then kidnapping the group, a Mexican bystander also killed. Mexican officials now believe the shooting and kidnapping was a case of mistaken identity. A source close to the investigation telling ABC News the gunmen may have targeted the vehicle because they wrongly believed the group of Americans were rival human traffickers. Um, now, this case was solved relatively quickly trafficking. here in Mexico, a country with an untold God. number of shit. Yeah. 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 drugs nowadays. Murders, it's I'm saying, because look, Puerto Rico is really bad for that, too. Man, they took, yo, I was, in the, oh, sorry. I was in the airport, like, last week. Even in the airports, they saying, if you see anything suspicious, that we're trying to fight against human trafficking. Like, what? Yes. This is a real major issue right yes, going on right like now. it's like really dangerous. I'll be scared for to. my yeah. family, Y'all yeah, have to. Y'all yeah, have to be alert. You have to. You have to. Okay, let's not talk about this, please. Exactly. Because they know I go on and on. Yeah, exactly. On on. Please. Please saying this case was only solved because <laughs> Americans were involved, a deference given to the United States. And you know, Matt, some lawmakers think U.S. forces should be allowed to target cartels in Mexico. Is that right? That, yeah, that's correct. Some U.S. lawmakers like Senator Lindsey Graham calling for some cartels to be designated as foreign terrorist organizations, which would set the groundwork for U.S. military intervention. But Mexico's president already saying he would not allow troops here into Mexico. And every expert I've spoken to, Michael, saying that the idea that U.S. troops could solve a problem so deeply enmeshed in Mexican society, they're skeptical at best. All right, Matt Rivers, thank you, as always. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking. Damn. <sighs> And Man. Mexico is a big ass country too, though. Suspect accused of a midair attack on a United Airlines flight. Man, let me get out this all this sad bad news. It's like yeah, yeah, I'm starting to get paranoid. Oh my God, damn. <laughs> positive vibes. All right, that's only. all for tonight, y'all. We drained. <laughs> what time is it right now? Two a.m. It's two a.m. We've literally been working. All day. All day from the time we woke up this All morning day. to now. So now we about to sit back and enjoy each other's company. You know what I'm saying? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> mm. But. That's it. Go check out everything that we posted right. today. Subscribe. Like, Thank comment, you. subscribe, share to the next person. Bye.